Hi, I'm Donald with Steambright Supply, and today we're going to show you a uh, little device we put together. It's uh, an 1800 watt carpet cleaning heater with a 220 psi pump together. Uh, first of all, I'll just kind of show you. Uh, it's in an aluminum case. It's uh, only 18 inches wide. Uh, it's 13 inches deep. It's less than seven inches tall. Uh, it's very compact and lightweight. Uh, the idea behind this is that if you have um, a shop vac or a flood pumper and you want to be able to turn it into a carpet cleaning machine, you can actually do that with this unit. Um, I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see what we did on the inside of it. We've got an Aquatec 220 psi pump here and we've got a Clean Storm 1800 instantaneous inline uh, heater over on this side. Uh, we'll go ahead and hook it up, show you how it works. By the way, these uh, clasp on this unit does come with keys if you ever want to lock it. But in the meantime, we went ahead and just hooked it to the sink. And I'm going to go ahead and hook up some testing equipment on this. We've got a pressure gauge and a temperature gauge. And normally your carpet cleaning hose is going to go to your wand from here. And you have your incoming water coming in here. Now you can don't necessarily have to be hooked to the sink. If you want, you could have a five-gallon bucket, and you could literally just suck out of a bucket, or you could lay the hose in a bathtub, or you could lay it in the tank of a toilet. Wherever your water source is, you can just hook up the hose to it. And you'll find you'll get better performance when you have building pressure pushing on the pump. The pump's going to perform a little bit more aggressively. Now up here we have a a 500 PSI safety relief valve. Uh, that's designed to keep the unit operating under 500 PSI because when you heat water, water does expand and we don't want to have that expansion create any cracks in the system. So if it builds up too, too much pressure, uh, we want to hook this up. Now this hose is just an open hose and you want to lay it back in the sink or lay it in the fresh water tank. In this case, I'm just going to put it back in the bucket so if it initiates, we'll get the water in the bucket. Now over on this side is where we hook up the, uh, the power to it. Uh, there's actually a socket here, and when I plug it in, the green light turns on, and that green light lets you know that your extension cord's correctly hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the water. Now, <clears throat> this switch here uh, goes to the pump, and then this switch down here runs the heat. Now, when the, the heater's on, when it's in the heating mode, the red lights will turn on. Uh, and if you walk away like you get on a cell phone call or set the wand down to move some furniture for more than two minutes, that heater's going to reach <clears throat> over 200 degrees, and it's going to turn itself off. When you pick up the wand and start cleaning again, it's going to automatically um, turn itself back on again and try to maintain as much heat as possible. <coughs> now I'm going to go ahead and uh, what we put on the end of the hose, we have a number two jet. And if we spray it full time, we can see right away that the sink temperature is about 90 degrees. And the machine is actually developing 250 PSI. That's spraying with an O2 jet full time. Now, let's uh, give this two minutes to preheat. You'll know when it's done preheated because your lights are going to turn off. And then we'll come back and see how well it maintains the temperature being fed with 90 degree water, spraying 100% of the time with an O2 jet. Okay, it's been uh, two minutes now and you can tell the unit is heated up because both the thermostats have turned the, the red lights off. So we'll go ahead and start my spray back up again. First of all, uh, again, it, it does mean 250 PSI and uh, the first thing we're going to see, we get a lot of steam coming out of the unit. Right now, it's probably going to start climbing up. 
we were at 100, 90 degrees when we started, and we're actually at about 175. And the, uh, now that it's starting to cool down a little bit, one of the uh, sensors has turned the heater back on. down a little bit more, your backup heater has turned itself back on to try to maintain as much heat in the system as possible while you're aggressively using it. It's about 125 degrees, uh, and considering we started at 90, we're uh, a 35 degree rise. And again, we are using water pretty aggressively. Normally when you're cleaning carpet, you'd be giving it a little bit of a dry stroke, giving it a little bit uh, more time to catch up. I did also want to show you the amp draw that the unit device pulls. First of all, we'll just turn on the pump. And the pump running by itself, it's pulling between 1.1 and 1.2 amps. I'll turn that off and I'll turn the heater on. And the heater's pulling 13.7 amps. Now I'll turn both of them on. And the combined unit, we're at well, 14.9. So the unit will run on a 15 amp circuit. So it'll plug in anywhere. Uh, naturally, it'll probably be better if you put it on a 20, but if you're in a 15, it will operate. I'm going to go ahead and turn the unit off and uh, show you how easy it is to. To wrap the unit up. Literally, you can just unplug your hoses and cords. Um, it's going to take me a little bit longer to get it off the sink, but this comes with a, uh, a strap, so it's easy to carry and transport. Um, I'll have to go put it on the scale. It's really not that heavy. It's probably about uh, 18 pounds, just guessing, but we'll, we'll post the correct weight on the website. Anyway, thanks for watching.